Hello and welcome to Spectrum of Wisdom, the channel where we explore the amazing facts and mysteries of nature. In this video, we are going to learn about the blue-ringed octopus, one of the most venomous animals in the world. Dive into the vibrant underwater world, and you might encounter a creature of mesmerizing beauty, the blue-ringed octopus. Belonging to the genus Hapiloclina, these octopuses are a spectacle of nature's artistry, with their yellowish skin adorned with distinctive blue and black rings. These rings, like a chameleon's skin, can change color dramatically when the creature senses danger. These tiny yet formidable creatures, measuring just 12 to 20 centimeters, inhabit the tide pools and coral reefs of the Pacific and Indian Oceans, stretching from Japan to Australia. Despite their relatively docile nature, they command respect and caution due to their venom, a potent neurotoxin called tetrodotoxin, making them one of the world's most venomous marine animals. Their lifespan is typically two to three years, influenced by factors such as nutrition, temperature, and light intensity in their environment. Most of their time is spent hidden in crevices, displaying effective camouflage patterns with their dermal chromatophore cells. Their ability to change shape allows them to squeeze into spaces much smaller than themselves, providing an effective defense against predators. When threatened, they undergo a dramatic transformation. Their body, body turns bright yellow, and each of their 50 to 60 rings flashes iridescent blue within a third of a second, serving as a stark warning to potential predators. This dazzling display is achieved through multi-layer light reflectors called iridophores, which are arranged to reflect blue-green light in a wide viewing direction. The blue-ringed octopus is an adept hunter, feeding on fish and crustaceans. It pounces on its prey, seizing it with its arms and pulling it towards its mouth. Its beak, as hard as a bird's, pierces the tough exoskeleton of crabs or shrimps, releasing its paralyzing venom. When agitated, the octopus's rings turn vivid blue, thanks to the chromatophores, elastic ink-filled sacs beneath its skin. Once the danger has passed, the chromatophores contract, and the octopus returns to its usual yellow color with dark brown rings. The mating ritual of the blue-ringed octopus is a fascinating spectacle. It begins with the male gently caressing the female with his modified arm, the hectocotylus. The male then grabs the female, sometimes obscuring her vision completely, and transfers his sperm packets by repeatedly inserting his hectocotylus into her mantle cavity. This intimate dance continues until the female decides she's had enough, often having to forcibly remove the overly enthusiastic male. Females lay only one clutch of about 50 eggs in their lifetimes, typically towards the end of fall. These precious eggs are incubated under the mother's arms for about six months, during which time the devoted mother does not eat. After the eggs hatch, the female's life ends, and the new offspring will reach maturity and be ready to mate by the next year. year. Interestingly, body mass in the southern blue-ringed octopus is observed to influence copulatory rates. Larger males are preferred by females, although males show no preference for females. Male-male mounting attempts are common, suggesting a lack of discrimination between sexes. Despite their small size, these octopuses carry enough venom to kill 26 adult humans within minutes. Their bites are often painless, with victims not realizing they've been envenomated until respiratory depression and paralysis set in. The venom contains tetrodotoxin, a potent neurotoxin also found in pufferfish and some poison dart frogs, which blocks sodium channels, causing motor paralysis and respiratory arrest within minutes of exposure. The octopus's own sodium channels are adapted to be resistant to tetrodotoxin. When threatened, the octopus's first instinct is to flee. If cornered and touched, it may bite and envenomate its attacker. Estimates of the number of recorded fatalities caused by blue-ringed octopuses vary, but most scholars agree that there have been at least 11. Despite this, the blue-ringed octopus remains a captivating creature, a testament to the wonders and dangers of the marine world. The blue-ringed octopus, while listed as least concerned by IUCN, faces potential threats that could impact its population numbers. These threats include bioprospecting, habitat fragmentation, degradation, overfishing, human disturbance, and collection for the aquarium trade. Despite these challenges, the blue-ringed octopus plays a crucial role in marine conservation. It contributes to the stability of habitat biodiversity and the balance of marine food webs. For instance, it may help control populations of Asian date mussels. Moreover, the tetrodotoxins produced by the blue-ringed octopus could potentially lead to new medicinal discoveries in the future. 
The blue ring octopus has also made its mark in popular culture. It is the symbol of the secret order of female bandits and smugglers in the 1983 James Bond film Octopussy, appearing in an aquarium tank, on silk robes, and as a tattoo on women in the order. The animal was also featured in Michael Crichton's book State of Fear, where a terrorist organization uses the animal's venom as a murder weapon. It even made an appearance in The Adventure Zone's Petals to the Metal series. This captivating creature continues to intrigue and inspire, both in the natural world and in the realm of human imagination. That's a wrap on our deep dive into the fascinating world of the Blue Ringed Octopus. We hope you enjoyed this journey as much as we did. If you found this video informative and want to learn more about the wonders of the natural world, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, Spectrum of Wisdom. If you have any questions or if there's a specific topic you'd like us to cover in our future videos, please let us know in the comments section below. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep exploring the spectrum of wisdom.